Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in TNO, playing as Vyadka. Last time we expanded, we integrated some of the church members, we took out the Aryan Brotherhood, we took out, uh, well, this Islamic Nation Federation, Earth Bashkira. Regardless, we are now at war with Komi, and we need to make a couple encirclements here. Uh, one of the main comments was for me to use the motorized division to do encirclements, which I totally agree. I should have used my motorized a little bit more, because it's probably my, pretty much my only quick division that can move, but also, happy 1965, my friends. It is going to be a good year, let's just hope. Uh, no, I want you guys, actually, you know what, you guys go this way. There you go. Hold them in place, don't let them move. That'll be nice, and they have no divisions on the border. We already took out some of the other guys, which is great. You guys actually go this way instead. You guys come up here, here, here. Ah, uh, beautiful. You need some more strength. And let's see, we do just want to take over their lands, but Komi is in a two-front war, and they have some guys in circle, it looks like, up there, too, which is a great thing. Of course, we have no manpower, but what else is new? You know, what else is new? Uh, let's see, anything here? State of the economy, we could buy some stuff, but nah. Wait, are we good on equipment? Yeah, we're still good, except for on planes, which is fine, you know, whatever. Uh, we're doing a little bit of ground support, which is actually kind of nice. And we killed off those enemy, 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 enemy divisions. Let's take a look. We are at war. We have 27% war support, which is not good. Huh. Well, as long as we can take the capital, we should do okay. Anything else here? Defense on the border. Buy equipment. Fortify the border. No. Cool. Let's see what happens after this, when we get the peace deal. I'm not really sure what will happen. 28%. And what is this? The Sky Tive Car Arsenal Captured. If you'd like to read this, go right ahead. Locked and loaded. Arsenal, less division recovery rate, less war support, more attack on defense, uh, more attack and defense on core territory. Wow. We are at hefty advantage. Cool. Ooh, we have another one. Not really. Awesome. Oh, and actually, it splits up the... Wait, did we take everything? I don't think we did. Did we take... Did we seriously take everything? Hey, man. If we did... Cool. I'm not going to question it, so... Disarm the pair of militaries. We get support equipment and infantry equipment, or return to the fold. I think we're going to return to the fold. We can always make more equipment, and we already have enough for now, so let's return to the fold. When the political scene of Komi involves so many different parties and factions vying for control, it is only logical that some representing the right wing and the monarchists inevitably appeared. For years, they clashed endlessly with their political enemies on the left and center despite our invasion. They remained active in the streets of Sikh Tivar and elsewhere. While we could try to endlessly crack down on them, we would be much more useful as allies. All the groups that have shown support for the monarchy of Vyatka, or even other right-wing groups that want simply to collaborate for power, will be contacted. The offer will be given to govern Siaktivar on behalf of, with our armed forces, instead of us struggling to exert our control there. Thus, in exchange for autonomy in the former capital of Komi, we will be able to more effectively pacify it. Good. Oh my goodness. Yes, integrate. Tons of integrations, yes, that is what we want. Lots of integrations, that is the probably the most important thing that we can do right now. Until we get attacked by someone else. Cool, we have only 10 divisions, which means guarding the border is going to be a pain in the butt against these commies, but well, that's okay. The West or Russian Revolutionary Front, under Zukov. Securing a foothold, huh. Black market trading, that's kind of cool. We have another one up there, prepare raid, Oh, Against Moscow Authority, Autonomy, and Yogra. Oh, hold on. This is German Sovereign Zone. Hold on, what's, what's the... Oh, it's over here. Yeah, this group... Moscow Autonomy. Um, I probably don't want to mess with these guys. Yeah, I probably don't. They got a lot of manpower. Wow! That's a lot of manpower. They have no resources, which is good. Except for steel and, like, chromium, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, no, let's not piss those guys off. How about these guys? Was it these guys? Yeah, it was. Um. Okay, yeah, let's, we can piss these guys off, that's fine. We can prepare a raid against those guys. The Thief Territory! Good! We're gonna get 1.61 political power today, it's actually really, really good. Wow, that's actually, yeah, that's, that's return to the fold. Next up, tear down their institutions. In the days of glory and political intrigue, the Komi Republic had been one of the few states in the region to properly establish themselves as independent and democratic bodies, leaving the past of the Soviet Union behind them. Most warlord states who emerged were a patchwork of cliques and relics of the old government. However, 
In Komi, a completely new political system was built from scratch, including elections, a complex bureaucracy, and actual coherent factions that became notorious for their actions. Unfortunately for them, now that the Empire has re-emerged from its ashes, all this will be torn down. The past of the Republic must be forgotten if we want to maintain our control over the area, and the institutions will be ripped apart only to reappear to serve the Russian Empire. While we will destroy their past organizations, perhaps we should take note. For when we have to build the nation from its government from scratch. Oh, you could have. Good. Cool. Go and kill them all. I don't really care. Uh, raid. Are we good to go? Not yet. We can do here. Military. Oh. No. We can't. Can we not raid? No. Please let me raid. No. Oh, I should have raided. I wasn't ready. My people weren't ready for that yet. Oh, that makes me sad. That makes me so sad. But we got some more technology. That's just good. Uh, ground support, suppressive barrage, recon gets more recon, sure. Hey, look at that, look at those factories we got, nice. More military factories for now, sure, why not. More planes, yes please. Oh. Form the sovereignty in Western Russia, yeah, we're not quite there yet. Still trying to get cores, once we get all these cores, we'll actually be probably doing pretty darn well. Go and scavenge for loot, that'd be good. Raiding and looting, I love it. Oh, and Imperial Special Forces. Oh, boy. I'm glad I looked at this. Samara. Oh, boy. This is not going to be easy, but if we move our motorized well around well enough, we should do okay. Remember February, huh? Tear down the institutions. Ooh. What else do they have over here? Quite a bit. Slipped leash. How strong are they? Seven to thirteen. That's not bad. We might meet them in the middle. Like they might just have just as much as we do. So fortify our position. Many new territories, cities, and plains uh, have now been acquired by forces fighting for His Imperial Majesty. Before we continue our path of endless conquest and reclamation that will only end once we reach the Pacific Ocean, we need to slow down, reorganize our forces, and ensure that we are not under the threat of invasion or overstretching. One of the numerous ways to do that is to construct a defensive positions and fortifications for the military, government, and people to be assured that they are safe from enemy assaults. Using knowledge of older, modern military strategy and lessons learned from our recent invasions, we can make them more than effective than ever before and then become even more secure. Uh, fortified position, less division attrition, out of supply, deficient defense, plus 15%. Nice, for an entire year. That's actually pretty good. Fortify, purchase, invest. Mm. That's okay. We already have enough stability. Factories. No, I'm not going to hurt that. Construction speed moderate still. We still have low support, which is not good. Yeah, nothing really here that we really want. Nothing really. And now we are at war. Interesting. Well, okay. Well, I guess I'm glad I moved my soldiers over when we did. Where is my dude? There you are. Let's go there. We're going to begin encircling guys, if we can. Um, okay. It's somewhat hard to see these areas, but that's okay. Um, I'll let them come in. That's fine with me. But be assured that these guys ain't moving. Don't let that guy move. A little bit of lag. That's okay. Kind of hold out for now. Wow, how strong is that division? Holy crud. You guys get here. You guys hold. Cool. And... Hello. Hello. Let's see, what else can we do here? This is going to be a little bit tougher war. Hey, look at that manpower! Nice. Focus on the defense. Um, whole public speech. Nah, 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 nah. Come on, get in there, boys. Cool. You guys go that way. Actually, you know what? You, you, you just attack them. You go up to there. You come down here. And do that. See if we can cut them off. We'll see what happens. Hey, look at that. Beautiful. Help them out. Good, kill them off. They deserve it. Alright, very good. Cut everyone else off of here. You know what? Just hold them in place. That's all that matters right now. Just holding them in place. Yeah, no. Get out of here, you piece of crap. Uh, this is going to be a garbage war, but that's okay. We got encircled. How did we get encircled? Well, I guess just go get unencircled then. Really? Really? You cut us off there. Go that way. Are they dealing with resistance or something? Huh. Alright, this the AI knows what, what it's supposed to do. Holy crap. That's a little scary. That's okay, though. Just go in. Just move in. Come on, man. 
just cut them off. Just cut them off. You have to hold them here so that you guys can go there and do that. Uh, what do you... Come on, man. Get down there if you can. Take all those cities. Doesn't really matter. Just take everything if you can. That would be nice. Come on. Nice. Good. Do that. Cut him off. Cut him off. Cut him off. Hey, we cut this guy off, which is awesome. He should die soon enough. Good. You were attacked. Cool. And you are going to come here and here, as these guys might hold on to this group here. Good. Kill this guy off. Kill him off completely. Don't let him move. For the love of God. Hey! Imperial Tank Brigade. Seize the factories. Cool. Oh, we actually finished all this stuff. Uh, Operation Scarlet City. Declare War on Gorky. Cool. Seize the factories. Cool. And then Imperial Tank Brigade. So we got some more stuff. If you want to read these, go right ahead. Operation Changeling. Equestrian War. Cool. Nemesis. Nemesis. Control of trade routes. During this rule by General Ivanov, the neutral zone of Vol Vologda had slowly developed and devolved into a hub of trade in the original economy. Goods and profits flowed through the city, and whether it was coming from the Reich's Commissary at Muscovy or the neighboring warlord states, the merchants and government of the neutral zone could enjoy an inflow of cash. Now that the area has fallen back under control of the Russian army, it is time to use these facilities and use the infrastructure to our advantage as to maintain the profitable trade there. With some local help and additional funds by the government of Vyatka, the bare-bones infrastructure used by merchants and travelers will be significantly improved, and all that will be done to serve his Imperial Majesty's regime. As a struggling Russian warlord state, becoming sustainable can prove to be a big problem, but this program could improve such things. Do anything here. Uh, speech. I, I don't think so. I don't think anything's really changed. We still want to core more stuff. Ooh, fortify. No. Offensives. I mean, I don't want to waste political power. I mean, it might be good to just stockpile some. Hmm. Hmm. It might be good just to stockpile some. Yeah. No. Uh, let's see. That will actually cut our soldiers off. So you have to hold and you have to hurry the heck up. You have to hurry up and kill these guys off. Good. Yeah, there's no way you can lose here. There's just no, there can't be any way you can lose. How are you losing? They're cut off from supplies. Get back in there. Get back in there. Good. Oh, there's some lag. What's going on? I do have a cup of coconut, macadamia nut tea to keep us nice and warm. Hey, look at that. Oh, this nation wanted to kill us off, but I said no. Cut these guys off if you can. Oh, the Battle of Barcelona. Oh, Iberia's test has come. Hmm. Cool. Very cool. Please just kill these guys off. For the love of God, please kill them off. They are annoying, as some might say. Ooh, ooh. Old public speech. Yeah. I keep looking at the same things, hoping something changes. Let's do that one. There you go. Call me radicals if you like to read this. What oh, decreases popular support? Really, man? Seriously? That's annoying. That's so annoying. Hey, we cut these guys off though. That's, that's actually really good. Hey, we killed them off though. Uh, cool, cool. You guys keep them in place. Your organization isn't very high, but we don't. it doesn't have to be very high. Good. Kill this division off. Very good. Take Gorky if we can, so that this way they have no supplies left. Everyone else can go right ahead. Ah, a factory is captured. Great, look at that. That looks awesome. The power of modern warfare unleashed. Great, and you know what? Unfortunately, I will be right back. My apologies about that, everyone, but let us continue. Now, I just noticed. Look at all that manpower we have. 9,000. Wow. We actually have a few thousand people in reserve here. That is amazing, at least in my opinion. Now we have 21 factories. We can actually build more things now. We have 800 million dollarinos, or our GDP is 827 million. That ain't bad. That ain't bad whatsoever, man. I gladly will take that. Uh, I'd recommend you guys go this way so you can help us out. Come on, motorized. Go faster. You are slow. You're very slow right now. Actually, let's take a look at the casualties. I have been ignoring them completely so far. Uh, so, wow, we lost 6,000. That's it's almost 7,000. We killed off 50,000, though. Holy crud. That's not bad. But still, that's still a lot of losses. That is a lot of losses, which I would rather have not wanted to lose. We look at that. We got some air XP as well. We're doing pretty darn well at this point. I'm feeling pretty okay about this. 
Except for getting encircled, of course. But, you know, whatever. That happens occasionally. Normally. You know. Uh, does he have any more upgrades? Doesn't look like it. Do you have any upgrades, Nikolai? Skirmisher? No. He's level 4, though. That's not bad. Control the trade routes, of course. But now we shall cr have crown charters. Trade plays a large role in the Empire we have built through our hard effort, but often the Tsar's regime himself has never had the available time or personnel to ex help expand this business. Perhaps it's time to take a page from the old times and remember that the years of the Empire. Back then, there was Muscovy Company, a chartered trade company managed by the British, which conducted ba business in the region. Now such companies can be revived in a very, very different situation, but with the same purpose. With the authority given to them by the Royal Charter, they will handle the flow of goods in and out throughout the the more distant and isolated parts of the Empire. Surely the members of these companies will extend our control there, integrate the areas into the nation economically, and make a profit for both themselves and the government. We will lose 100 political power. We go from limited exports to exports. Focus. Cool. Do we have... Yes. Yes. We already took the capital over, which is awesome. Uh, do we have another... Another division? Okay. Another two divisions, because... Two... Because more is always necessary. More is always welcome. Come on, get down here, get down here so we don't die. They should capitulate very soon. Oh, we're out of manpower again. They've already taken their capital, so... Uh, that looks pretty squiggly. There you go. Down to there, 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 there. Please, we can use some resources, please. Uh, since you're already almost down there, you might as well go there to there. Might as well, right? Come on. Hey, get Stavropol. Na Volga. Operation Nemesis. Oh, and then you want to read this? Go right ahead. The Russian Liberation Army. Cool. And we have defeated the enemies in a war. A truly great thing. Now, we're doing pretty well. Integrate. Finally, we can integrate Tatarstan, Gorky, and Samara. Could take some time. Yeah, it's definitely going to take quite a bit of time, which is fine. You know what? I'd rather have it than not have it. So, 1960s armaments. Yes, please. The only thing that we're really increasing at all times. That's a little bit ahead of time, so let's not do that. It is 1965, so I hope you're having a great year. We can give you more fa max factories. Uh, sure, civilian construction 3 is going to take forever to do, but that's okay. Uh, so we got crown charters. We industry, search the archives, consolidate, slightly decrease coring time, which I kind of like, actually. West Rev Russian Revolutionary Front. Operation Red October Nevermore. Uh, they're next. They are next. And we're still expanding our military, even though we have no more manpower. Not bad. Go and train him, too. Ah, uh, crown shot is... Wow, look how many guns we got. 16,000? Oh, we're doing we're doing well. I'm loving this. So, Royal Pardons, the industry of Samara. Let's get another building slot. So, the city of Samara is located in a location perfect for developing factories and other industry. And when the Russian Liberation Occup Army occupied the city, they certainly used that to their advantage. There's a reason, after all, why they had so much power while still being confined to a small area around the capital and being plagued by all the problems all warlord states faces. What matters now, though, is that all this industry developed by former enemies has been seized by our forces under the His Imperial Majesty, and we are free to use them. Funds we've gained through our economic tactics and our recent conquests will be funneled into the development and repurposing of Samara's industry, now to serve a different government than the last one. Any help in developing our country is just definitely, definitely needed, especially as we will soon face enemies larger than ever before. Ah, happy June 1st. And we're out of political power, and we're out of manpower. I wanted to change my divisions to all have, like, be a better template, because that's an okay template. This is actually not bad. I kind of like this one. We got rid of this template, though. If we can see it, Pakistan becomes independent. Interesting. If you'd like to read this, go right ahead. Oh my goodness, who just became huge? Uh, I don't want to get rid of that. We might need Coast Guards. I really doubt it, though, but we're going to keep it for now. Oh, Minister of Japan. What does the army think? Oh my gosh, that is huge. Oh, we're going to... I need more manpower. Hmm. Hey, 196, not bad. And has defeated the thieves. This looks like it's going to be a bad. Movement on the border. Heavy is a head that wears the crown. Oh boy, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Send a couple servants over. Kislodora. Oh my. Oh no, no, no. Who's trying to fight us? Ah, so we are. We must be ready for the war. So, royal pardons. The RLA has had a number of former Red Army commanders who were excellent in this strategy. Of course, they will be forever scarred by the history of collaboration with the Germans, but so are we, and we've gone over our rough past. Thus. Some have recommended. We forgive them for their past and recruit them into the armed imperial forces. It makes sense that they would be willing to join us, especially if their hatred for communism and the Red, the West Russian Revolutionary Front is considered. And while some may hold resentment against the forces of monarchism as well, they can see the greater good in joining them. Of course, this is unlikely to occur without at least some oppression or opposition from Vyaka's political stage. Thus, if we want to, that to happen, some political maneuvering will be required. 
Oh god, this is... We're gonna have some seriously bad wars over here. But Vyaka's looking nice and thick. I love this. Nice and thick. Wow, we can actually build factories. We'll have one done in August. That's amazing. How many divisions does this country have? We get 1.42 a day. Not bad. Could use more stability, but slowly going down. 6 to 10. That's not bad. Uh, oh. What is that? Outre? Is that out there? Um... Kemerovo. Kemerovo. Oh, it's right here. Duh. It's right in front of me. A little bit of lag. That's okay. How is Germany? Not looking okay. Also, SS Oberabschnitt Oslin. What succeeded in their war for there. And now these guys have gone to war with us. Uh, I'm just going to say you could probably just not train right now. And where is my motorized? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to recommend you go Archangelsk so we can get this territory done quickly. Thank you. Oh, these guys are not looking good at all. They're looking pretty beat up, actually. Now, we might have someone come in here. That uh, wouldn't be very good. But you know what? It is what it is. You guys get up there. Uh, you guys go that way, that way, that way. It's really hard to see where the borders are at. That's probably one of my big complaints here. It's not a huge complaint, but it's still a, com a small little complaint. Cool. Oh, look at that motorized. Go, 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 my son. We got six manpower. Oh. Unify Central... Oh, Central Siberia. Central Siberian... Oh, that is not good. No, 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 no. Hmm, we better be getting ready. Scavenge for loot? Yes, we still have to do that. We got six manpower. Not bad. Uh oh what's going on? What's going on? Communist reunified Kazakhstan. Meet the old boss. Oh, good lord, no. That looks terrifying. I, Even though we are doing pretty darn well... It seems like we're not doing enough. We need to search for the archives. The final days of the Soviet Union were chaotic, and many of the events that occurred remain unknown or uncertain to this day. But what is known are Bukharin's contingency plans. One of the most important plans was that, should Moscow itself fall, the city of Kyobyashev would become its capital to fall back on. While these plans were never fully materialized, different communist cliques and leaders emerging instead of one united government, most civilian offices and many other services had already moved to the city. Now the city has been renamed to its proper name, Samara, and after serving as a base of collaborationist RDA, it has fallen to the Tsar's hands. Our special units will be assigned to a secret mission, and that to search the city for any and all files, documents, and plans for when the city seemed like it would be the USSR's new capital. Perhaps a better look at the inner functions of the communists and their plans could be useful in the war or future struggle against the WRRF, which we are currently at war with. Cool. And there's a guy long to do. Cool. I'm going to have you guys come over here so we can quickly beat these guys up and move our soldiers a little bit more around. Royal pardon. So if we want to read this, go right ahead. Collaborationists simply cannot be integrated into our army. Stability, political power, liberal democracy, recruit our allied allies. Join Samara. Hmm. I like the stability. I actually really like the stability and political power. Recruit our old allies. You know what? Let's recruit our old allies. It's fine. Hopefully they won't backstab us. They could, but I hope not. Alright, so you guys are doing that. You guys are hanging out. Not much is going on. Just fine. Cool. You guys just go up here. Get that, get that. Uh, you guys can probably go there to there to there. That'd be fine with me. And you guys go right there. Would be good. Please. Thank you. Nice. Oh, we're just trucking up north. And we have the capital very soon. There we go. Alright, well, that was easy. Uh, good luck, guys. Keep moving that way. If in any case, you guys help out. Uh, keep an eye on this side. I'm not too worried about the, the, the western side. And I think overall, we're getting somewhat lucky just because we're not having too many issues here at all with enemy nations as one at a time the Indonesian war. We prefer independence with poverty to servitude with plenty. Well, Indonesia's having a time and self against itself. Cool. These guys wanted to move in just like how I wanted them to. Good. Give me your capital. Actually, that's really all I care about. Actually, we're going to encircle you guys first. Uh, good, 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 good. Okay, they're dead. Beautiful. 30 factories. Do we need anything more? Besides planes? It's always just planes. Which we don't have enough resources for, I think. I can't, It's hard to tell. Somewhat hard to tell. We need more rubber, of course. Yeah, we just need more rubber. That's pretty much it. Can I build anything else that could be necessary? Anti-air might not be bad. Uh, let's see. We got enough of that, that, that. You know what? Infantry fighting vehicles are fun. They have 55 armor. These guys have 100 armor, though. What if we did that? Are... What do you guys use? Do you guys use this infantry fighting vehicle? Or do you use 
main battle tanks. I could just probably just use main battle tanks with motorized. That's probably what we're going to end up doing. Go ahead and make some tanks if we can. If we can, that'd be just amazing. Obviously, we need more manpower. Wait, hold on. Hold on. We can form the sovereignty of Western Russia. Now, we stand triumphant in the ashes of Western Russia. All Bolsheviks and Germophiles having been cast out. It's time we properly proclaim ourselves as the one true government in alliance of all the Russias. That Vladimir III is the true ruler. God save the Tsar. We get a new focus tree upon the resolution of the Onega issue. Gain a research slot. Three Navy XP. We get extended orbit administration, which sucks for a while, probably. Shall enter the regional stage, granting them access to greater diplomatic options and the economy system. Oh, we have to. We don't even have to wait. Vyadka has become the emperor's return for now. But for now, how long? Look at that, beautiful. Oh boy. All right, so we can do that more stuff. We can wait on that. Russian reunification calls all of Western Siberia. Uh, exert influence in the Southern Urals. Oh my gosh, look at that manpower. Prepare for war. After 69. Form the sovereignty of Western Russia, which we just did. Integrate these places, which we will do, unless they're already integrated. Now they're not integrated yet, which is fine. Uh, we're still integrating some other places. Regional develop. Oh, oh my gosh. Add 100 million to the national debt. Um... Okay, so I don't understand anything about the whole economy system here. If you guys could, could let me know how to properly do economy stuff, or should I pay attention to it at all, please let me know in the comments below, because I don't like seeing national debt. I hate debt so much. Oh my goodness. But in the meantime, let's do this. Oh, we could do that. Let's grab probably that one. More factory outputs always be good. And you know what? Since we're here, warlord recruitment's gone. That's fine. Lab. We probably want this one. This is probably the most generic one we could use. We have the manpower for now. We probably don't have the artillery actually for it. 18. Just make it 20 combat width. Just your normal tried and true versions. Um, it really doesn't matter. There you go. And support anti-air. We could do that, but we're gonna wait. Are we out of anything after doing that? No? Good. Because I want all my divisions to be like that, probably. You guys are... Oh, you guys are the 20 combat with. You guys are light infantry, which is actually probably better for forests, because you guys... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... I don't really want to think too hard right here, so... There we go. Cool. Oh, oh and you guys are actually what? 10 combat with your elites. Um, you know what? With the elite infantry, let's get rid of that. You know, just get rid of that too. I don't want to think about it. <sighs> Elites. If you're going to be elite, you might as well be actually elite. So. And just give them some more artillery as well. Now we're going to actually have a relatively okayish army. Engineers, you got to have that. You got to support artillery as well. That'd be fine. We might not use anti tank. We'll see what happens. Good. You are a combat with, which is not good enough for me. There you go. Um, I'm not really sure who we're going to attack next. I'm going to assume Orenburg, maybe? But having three research slots, amazing. Even more military factories. Now, since we switched this off around, planes, yeah, we might be able to trade away for stuff. Oh, economy stuff? Oh, man. Go up to there. I'd love more planes. Nice. Maybe make some more tanks, perhaps. Don't really have any rubber to really support too much else. APCs. Is it APCs that are good to merge with tanks, I think? Yeah, that should be it. Eh, maybe some anti-air. See what we can do about that, maybe eventually. What are we building? Nothing here. Because we have no consumer goods. Oh boy. So, sending the bridge burners. You want to read that? Go right ahead. Search the archives. Cool. Consolidate our conquests. In this warlord era that Russia finds itself in, there are many stories of great empires stretching across much of the nations. Uh, nation's land, only to be plagued by this exact power they enjoyed and collapse from the overextension, giving rise to other new warlord states. The last thing we would ever want to do is for the same thing to happen to Vyatka. In order to avoid that, some measures will have to be taken. Firstly, our control over Western Russia will have to be truly ensured. Using overwhelming military force and arrangements within lo locals, we can crush remaining resistance and establish a new status quo built on the foundations of the empire. When that has been achieved, we can move on to taking down bigger foes that lie in the way of a united country. Yes. Integrate different places now. Uh, so, over here... Uh, almost 200,000. Oh, I'll definitely choose this one. 
Oh, let's resistance here. Good, good, good. We need more stability, though. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go with 8 right now. We only have 12. We definitely need more, though. Uh, ooh, howitzers. Please go kill each other. It's fine. That is anti-air. Oh, it's lagging. That's why. Oh, a little bit. All right. Don't do that. We're going to take you go down back down to one. That'd be fine. Go down to three for now. Go up to four so we can get some more howitzers being made. That'd be good. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We're going to need a lot of howitzers then. We'll do that. We can only go up to 12, which is kind of weird, but okay, whatever. Go down to two so we need less. Go down to two so we need less. Operation Red October Nevermore. Cool. Go down to one so we want to emphasize that. Cool. Declares war. And consolidate our conquest, if you want to read this. Slightly decreased coring time now. That's good. We need no template for... Ah, yeah. MVT improvement here. That's fine. Hearts and Minds. Let's put a power more stability. Avenge the Fallen. So decades ago, the Bolsheviks illegally rose up against the Russian government, establishing, establishing over two decades of totalitarian communist rule in Russia. The order, old order of the Romanovs was not only shaken to its core, it was thrown out of the window and burned down. The true leaders of the nation perished in the dark basement in the Epatiev house, in Ekaterinburg decades ago, but now more and more of the West Russia is returning under the new Emperor's fold. Arc Angelsk has fallen and the WRRF has crumbled. Its leaders, in reality nothing more than oh, traitors to the country they serve, have all been killed or captured. To avenge the events of 1917 and all the crimes the Soviet regime and its continuations committed, a trial of the WRRF leadership must be held to seal their fate and show that the mon monarchy is back in town. Absolutely. Alright, uh, we could do that one. Eh, you might as well. More organizations, always good to get. Always, always, always good. Never enough factories, but that's okay. Actually, can I trade away for... Oh, China! National Protection Army. Oh, China's doing stuff now. We could grab one more rubber, but let's wait first. How much artillery are we making a day? None. Hmm. Well, that's not ideal. That's really not ideal. How's the army looking? Uh, a little bit of attrition just because they're training. Not bad. Some of you guys are doing okay, though. Actually, how's the motorized doing? We have no more army XP to spend, but that's okay. 43 billion in GDP? Oh, boy. So, right now, total GDP is 43 billion USD. Annual growth is not bad. Debt? Not bad. I like that amount of debt. Expenditures, civilian, military construction. Total expenditures. Huh. Deficits and reserves. Annual deficit minus 650 million. Liquid reserves. Income. Hmm. Annual revenue. Oh, actually. We're actually sp making more than what we're spending. Should I change that? Should I not change that? I don't know. Hearts and minds. The people of West Russia believe in and support many unique ideologies, something that is not necessarily beneficial. Ooh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. The end of the Tsar. Oh, boy. Tsar, we want to introduce Silly is not necessarily beneficial. We want to introduce them to the Tsar's regime and expect them to not turn against us. This is especially true when we are bringing back what many thought to be the relic of the older times, the Tsar's government. It is expected that to meet to meet some opposition, as we already have, to this attempt, but we're now not merely a small pocket surviving against all odds in the heart of West Russia. The entirety of the region has been brought under our fold, and we are free to start convincing the Russian people why the Emperor is the best choice. The solution from that, which has always been tested and tried for decades, is propaganda. Through posters, speeches, media like radio, and other methods, the government can approach the people and start to make them feel that perhaps now this new Tsar's government is not so bad after all. I love propaganda. Oh, yes, yeah, so on the, on the Military spending. Increase military budget by 15% for 120 days. Uh, let's division training time, more attack, defense, more, better factory output. Is that worth it? Liquid reserves, simply decrease the budget. Hmm. Civilian spending. Uh, with this one, you get more daily political power gain, resource efficiency, less consumer goods. Oh, huh. increase the civilian budget. Is it worth to increase the civilian budget? We could probably afford it. Decrease civilian budget, which we probably don't want to do. Construction. Use 10% more civilian factories, increases cost by 5%. Decrease construction budget. Use 10% less civilian factories. Liquid reserves, increase GDP. Well, our liquid reserves are what? Yeah, it's not very much. That ain't very much at all. Oh, yeah, integrate. And they'll go Okta. That'd be nice. Invest in constructing. Uh, is this ever worth really doing? Moderately increases GDP. Hungary's house with Italy. Italy it makes a decisive move. Cool. Uh, it seems like getting the benefits is probably a good idea, but a visit from the Emperor. Re-examine our tactics. Recruitment campaign. 
Let's do a visit from the Emperor. Nothing makes the soldiers quite as happy as and proud to serve the Empire as a personal visit to them by the Emperor himself. Recently, Emperor Valdemir has taken to the initiative to suggest actions which, at the critical points we are in, could help the situation even slightly. One of these suggestions, which does not take much to accomplish and give something in return, is for him to go to the front or perhaps a more safe area where the military is dispatched and see the soldiers on his own. Guarded by some of the most elite guard units, he will be taken to a location where a few cur counter bandits operations are conducted. Therefore, he will see the army installations, talk with the soldiers of the motherland, and perhaps even see some action as well. This should provide a boost to the morale of not only that specific unit, but the entire army and civilian population as well. The emperor cares about the well-being of his people, except when it comes to the economy, which he's like, I don't know what's going to happen. Alright, so get cavalry. These guys, oh, they're only, not, not even 10 combat with. Afghanistan declared declare war in Pakistan, cool. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Kill each other off. That'd be awesome. We definitely are at least making more artillery now. So it's looking a little better. Anti-air is coming along. We have a few main battle tanks. And we do have a little bit of IFV. Is that really worth it? What's the difference between IFV and APCs? What do you guys think is better? I really have no idea. Let's take a look. Since we're waiting. Mobile. So we have APCs. For armor battalions. IFVs. I mean, it looks like it's... It seems like IFVs, infantry fighting vehicles, are just like motorized but better. Or actually, they might not have enough organization. Speed. What's the speed here? 14? This goes down to four, 14. What's the point? Uh, you get less defense with uh, tanks. You get way less breakthrough with IFVs, of course. Uh, you get more soft attack. That's more weight. A oh, visit from the Emperor. I love visits from the Emperor. Let's do some re-examining re of our tactics. The wars of reunification. At least... Ooh. This is the troops. Go ahead and read this if you like. Uh, first phase can almost be considered over, and we must examine what we've provided us with. Obviously, we now have an incredible amount of land, resources, and industry under control and at our disposal, but an equally important gain is the military lessons we learned. We fought countless... We found countless of battles, from the flat plains near the Volga to the mountainous sides of the Ural Mountains. We saw what worked, but didn't, and what could be improved. With the help from our battle-hardened generals, we will re-examine the doctrine we currently follow based on the outcome it has given us. The lessons learned, whether they confirm our old strategies or support new ones, will undoubtedly be useful when we continue the reclamation of Russia. Absolutely. Peace conference. Sovereignty of Western Russia. Looking pretty good, not gonna lie. Peace conference, come on. Uh, hopefully it's not about Siberia, I hope. Oh my goodness. Oh! Siberian Workers Federation. Central Siberian Federation. Sovereignty of Western Russia. Sverdlovsk. <laughs> just, just Sverdlovsk. Alright. Irkutsk and Divine Mandate of Siberia. Isn't there another nation there too? I can't remember. Over here. You guys, you know what? I'm gonna name you immediately so I'm not confused. There you go. Cuss cards. And actually, I'm going to put you at the bottom. If we need them. We probably don't need them. Actually, do we have, do we have cavalry? Oh, no, that's for guards. Cool. So, recruitment campaign. The first phase of our reclama reclamation has been wildly successful, perhaps even more than we could ever imagine, but in the environment we are in, we cannot let it ourselves relax and pause. To the east, numerous enemies covering the entirety of Siberia up to the Pacific Ocean are eager to fight and defeat us, each one wanting to claim the mantle of the Russian nation and its government. To the west, the Reich is still alive. More urgently, tensions with Finland and the Republic State Onega have only been rising in the last few weeks. Thus, we cannot afford to remain idle while our enemies continue to build up. Right now, we have just acquired a massive pool of resources and manpower, and we have to use it if the Empire wishes to come out of the next war victorious. An intense campaign of recruitment across western Russia will begin, urging the people to join the Russian Imperial Army for their nation's glory. We have to make sure our enemies adequately manned and should conflict rise up once again court so how's this stuff looking oh look at that we're still rising an ascent industrial base cool nascent we were i may be still there we're still using power tools but we're about to get rid of power tools in exchange for rudimentary manufacturing lines 10 percent more factory output uh 20 percent more dockyard output do we even have a dockyard we might uh, 10% more construction speed, and then 10% more resource efficiency gain, which will be great! Even though all we really need is rubber, and we don't have any rubber to spend. Alright, well I love doing this. Uh, civilian factories, maybe we can build up another civilian factory somewhere here. There we go. Well, we can't build anything because we have no factories assigned, so let's finish off one of these first. I can go down to one, and then build some more civilian factories. We'll see what happens. 0.59 a day, it's not great. Could be better, but could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. Recruitment campaign's almost done. Better industrial equipment. Excellent. Look at that. Ah, uh, makes me feel better. Hope it makes you feel better too. Oh, cool. 
Finnish negotiations. As the Russian nation finally faced its demise, being invaded by the Reich's overwhelming forces, one nation to our west also took advantage of that, and it was Finland. They grabbed the opportunity, made an uneasy alliance with Germany to seize the Russian lands and achieve that, their dream of greatness. Now the Kola Peninsula and Karelia lie under the Finnish jackboot. As if that wasn't enough to protect their illegal gains from the Russian enemies, they have placed the traitors Karpichnikov to, as a head of the buffer state in Onega. This must end, but seeing as we are not godless communists, the Finns may be willing to negotiate. For that reason, it would be prudent to not immediately sweep through the occupied lands with force, but first extend an olive branch of peace to Helsinki. A high-profile conference must be organized, perhaps in the city of Vyborg, or as they call it, Vipuri, to determine the future of these lands. That sounds like a good idea. Indonesia has defeated Indonesia. Good job, Indonesia. You guys, you ready? Come down here. Oh, boy. Well, there's one, two, three over there. It's got four right here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we've got a lot of small states. I wish we could take them out more easily. The dream falters. Poland is lost. Oh. Oh, boy. The Poland might end up going to war with Germany very soon. Ooh, home defense. The ugly truth. Lots of ho flooded from the recent discovery of great crimes committed by rebellious territories of the former Japan. Oh, when's Indonesian Civil War? A bad day to be Polish. Yeah, yeah, probably. Probably really bad day to be Polish here. I'll do that one too. We're actually increasing our abilities to research, which I love. Finish negotiations. And next up, we shall do our sovereignty insured. Onega, oh, well, we'll have to kill off Onega. Oh, what does that mean? This will slightly decrease scoring time. They refuse all negotiations. Alright, well, then it's war them. Do they really think they, they can win here? Waters. If you want to read it, go right ahead. Well, I kind of already clicked it, but whatever. Ooh, propaganda programs? Prepare for war. Well, whatever. Western Reclamation. We get weekly stability. When removed, we get more war support. Actually, I'm going to do that. We had a little bit to the national It's only $15 million, though. Let's go and do that, because we could use more stability and more support. So, that's actually probably worth it. The General Staff assembles. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Beyond them, take Lakes Onega and Ladoga, create choke points that the Finns intend to defend bitterly. Well, it says we better go fast while we can. Oh, Vladimir. How are you guys doing? Uncertain future? Oh, they don't hold minus 5% stability. That's good. Well, let's see what happens. Gets events, gets events. Franco Burgundy War. Cool. Go, go, go. Black market trade increases. Great. That's increased. Awesome. Go, go, go. Motorize. I need you to go fast. Divi Purity. Uh, actually, yeah, you guys are going to get down there anyway, so that's fine with me. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Hey, we defeated them. The doorway to Europe lies open. But we're still at war with the Finns, which is fine with me. Go, go, go. You can ignore that for now. Go up there. Get the purity if you can. Oh, Ku's Indonesian government. Strange times in a strange land. Indonesia seems like a wild place to live right now. I don't like this. Can we get rid of interest rates? Oh, boy. How much manpower do these guys have? They might have more than us. 12, 30 divisions. Uh, no, we have more than them, which is good. Go, 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 guys. Oh, well, no wonder. Nearby Western Siberia. Well, that's not good. Central European, Central Siberian Federation, Ural Military District. Cool. Well, it was bound to happen, you know. But you know what? We have a bigger army now. They can stop us in some locations, but they can't stop us everywhere. Ah, there they go. Poland Feldzoig. How peaceful can you really be? Nice. We're doing. It seems like we're doing pretty darn well. Five thousand versus ten thousand. Not bad. Not bad. Could be better, of course. That's okay. Can you guys please come over more quickly, please? That'd be that'd be great. Do we have any extra planes? Maybe. World War II fighters. Um, Junker. Wow, we're using Junkers. Jesus, that is really not ideal. That was really, really an idea. And they immediately lost, which is great. Alright, seriously, like, let everyone attack at the same time. Like, it's dumb to not attack at the same time, guys. It's really dumb, actually. Pakistan, cool. We're doing okay. Cut them off if you can. 
You have to actually go through there, which sucks. This looks... Can you get down there? Are these lakes? It's so hard to tell sometimes. I can't tell if these are lakes or not. So, keep them pinned down for now. We're going to keep moving out if we can. Down here, we're actually doing kind of okay. We've lost 16,000 to the 21,000. Come on, guys. Keep moving. You can't get in there. God, I hate that. They really need to make it a little easier for us to see. Uh, but anyways, this video's gone on long enough. And let's finish off with this. That'll be good. Ooh. Print strike. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And let me know. Should I do any sort of regional development stuff? And let me know also about how I should manage the economy. Thanks for watching. And have a great rest of your day.